The Blacklist series has come to an end with a surprising ending. Raymond's final moments on the screen left everyone shocked. After almost 10 years, the legendary criminal mastermind met his demise in an unimaginable way. The finale aired on 13th July 2023 and since then, fans have been debating the ending. Some are saying it was a rushed ending while some are suggesting it was a well-deserving end for the show. So what is the case? Let's break it down. It's hard to believe this is how it ends. The last name on the blacklist is me. The Blacklist wrapped up its 10th installment with a two-part finale. James Spader's character Raymond Red Reddington said goodbye in these episodes. After the departure of Megan in season 8, Spader did an amazing job in leading the show with his unique portrayal of this character. It has been a great hit for NBC and became even more popular due to its streaming partnership with Netflix. In season 9, the task force regrouped after Elizabeth Keene's death. They cleared Harold Cooper's name and forced Reddington into hiding. However, the season ended with a new threat for Red and the task force, Bo Jing, a blacklister from season 1. He escaped prison and joined forces with other blacklisters to bring down Red. Raymond is not your friend. He's the reason you're in here. What do you mean? He's a confidential informant. Season 10 continued the pursuit of Raymond by Wu Jing and his allies. In the ninth episode, Raymond killed Wu Jing and the threat was over. However, the task force faced a bigger challenge, which was Congressman Arthur Hudson himself. He started investigating their operations because the government was spending a lot of money on the task force. Hudson went to extreme lengths, like taping Agent Tressler's phone. He collected evidence to launch a formal investigation and permanently shut down the task force. The two-part finale showed Hudson and the Strike Force team hunting down Raymond. In the 21st episode, Red shoots and killed Hudson after the congressman shot Demby in his neck. The task force tried to find him, but he managed to escape to Spain. In the last episode, Raymond made a final phone call to Demby and his granddaughter Agnes Keane. He took a walk in the Spanish countryside but faced an unexpected enemy, a furious charging bull. Finally, Agent Dressler caught up to Raymond in Spain, only to discover him dead and covered in blood from his encounter with the bull. This was the end of the man, the myth, the concierge of crime. Now back to the question, was this ending rushed or not? Well, in our opinion, it was a well-written and well-deserving end to the show. We all know Red was suffering from a terminal illness since season 8. After the death of Elizabeth Keene, the narrative of the show was totally changed. The arc of Marvin Garrett and Wu Jing was added to put some thrill into the series. However, the truth is, the show had run its course after season 8. The true identity of Raymond and his relationship with Elizabeth is also never revealed. That's why the arc of Hudson was included to wrap up the series. Moreover, Red's illness was also taking its toll on him. So the fate of this great character was decided from the very start. However, the inclusion of the bull in the last scene was a nice touch. The way Raymond accepted his fate and remained calm when the bull was charging towards him shows his courage and bravery. He was such a criminal that he never got caught and his enemies couldn't kill him. So it was a great end for the show as well as the character. If you like this video, then subscribe to the Cine Wizard for more updates.